Hey, everybody. How you doing? I'm doing better now since I hit the record button. Had kind of, no, kind, kind of an off day today and uh, pacing around and just trying to figure out <laughs> life in general sometimes. You know what I'm talking about. We go through it. Then I realized I haven't listened to some music here on the channel for a while, so I'm going to bring you Caligula's Horse in just a second. Name of the track is Storm Chaser. Apparently, this is only just a couple months uh, old. Things are changing a little bit here. My channel's dying off. YouTube doesn't pump it anymore on the algorithm. So, you know, I get a little whimsical about like, oh, my God, do I want to? Could I do it? Change my head, change my head space. Realize what makes me happy is hanging out with you guys here and doing a video like this. So let's do this. No matter what this channel's doing, sitting here listening to new music is definitely what this is all about. And we're going to do it together. So. Uh, once again, this is a Caligula's horse, and uh, we're gonna rock and roll. Stand by, I gotta turn down this volume right here, and let's do this. All right. The piano on top of that, it sounded like that was great. I think. It adds like a creative ambiance to it, man. This is great. Never enough truth to keep you safe and well. In the cocoon, you need to know now. Beautiful interval right there, Jesus. Nice little kind of three four vibe there. What a wall of sound there. But it's just not in your face. Great chord change. Now, such an emphasis on dynamics and engineering and technique is, is just so great. It's never enough. Love how they give us all that breathing room without the kick. I just got to stop. The emphasis on the ambient and ethereal um, dynamic in this is so fantastic, uh, especially with the crispiness of the drum sound and, and, uh, and the engineering. Um, the, the, the creation of the ambience with very you know, beautiful background vocals is also kind of adding to that tug of war between the darkness and the heaviness of the story. It seems like I'm not reading lyrics or anything. Um, but the coming in, I'm, I'm assuming we're about to hit the second hook coming in. And then it just kills us with that wall of sound that's kind of reminiscent of uh, David, uh, Devin Townsend. David, uh, kind of like, but, but the guitars are not so punched up into the front. But I love how, how Caligula's horse, in this case, is really embracing the ambient uh, uh, atmosphere and environment, be it pads or unique things with guitars and stuff. I think it's just so slick. I also like how the arpeggiation keeps us in line.
that court change. And that bass tone, too. Now it's kind of cutting through. Great change up there. Oh boy, here we go. Ooh, bass. <laughs> I got chicken skin. Beautiful picking pattern in the back. change right there, chord-wise. Oh man, what the bass is doing back there. That slipped into the major third. I was waiting for it to get dark again, but. Beautiful piece of work, guys. Absolutely beautiful piece of work. Um, there's so much about what's happening in. Uh, arrangements and compositions and musicianship moving forward. Uh, I, I know that there's a lot of different opinions about, you know, uh, you know, staying in a pocket, being, being a certain way uh, when it comes to metal, that I'm still in the dust. I'm still so ignorant about it. I just sit back and listen to it, depending on what video I do and, you know, reading some of the comments and stuff. And, but I'm so freaking over the moon for this style and technique of dynamic storytelling, both through composition, arrangement, songwriting, melody, and engineering. I mean, there's so much that's going on in there in the hands of the engineering that is just so remarkable, so cool. And I think it's just my own personal, uh, personal taste as well. I can go as gnarly as Meshuggah and even black metal and stuff like that, but for some reason, if you just sprinkle just the right amount of ambient or ethereal, and I'm not talking about cheesing out because of pads and stuff, you could do this with guitar work with big long reverbs and very unique sounds, just like that one favorite, what's it called? Something pulling at straws or something of that nature, that one Meshuggah song even at the end there that you can just loop and listen to over and over. This has that same quality. There's a couple places here that I just goes, oh my God, I'm going to go back and, and turn on my guitar and play over this a few times. Oh, and the, speaking of the guitar, that solo was so plus 20 fire damage. You know, I mean, I for myself, the technical aspects of guitar players are so incredible right now that I believe that it's the unique pulling back on the reins. No pun, Caligula horse, you get it, reins. Oh, Sorry, I got jokes. Bad ones, albeit. Um, the phrasing of his solo. <clears throat> now, I, once again, it also looked like it was a dark, heavy video. But like I said at the end, when I was anticipating that re the resolution of that last chord going into the minor third, but kept, went into the major third, yet the visual was still very painful. That was a great dynamic, I, you know, in the video versus song. So anyhow... 
Went a little long today. Uh, usually, I'm trying to stay shorter, but what the hell? Who cares, right? <laughs> YouTube's not suggesting my videos. So if you're still here, grab your cup of coffee, your libation, whatever, you know, smoke them if you got them. Just type down, I'm still here. <laughs> you guys have a great day. All right.